So we're going to talk about now is, is the chaffer, the shiv, and the cleaning fan. Those all work together. The cleaning fan blows air up through the chaff and the shiv to help separate out the chaff from the grain. The one misconception is once in a while you hear is that I've got too much wind and it's blowing the, the crop out the back of the machine. Realistically what's happening is you probably don't have enough wind and the chaff is carrying the grain out the back of the machine. So you want to keep your wind speed high. I like wind. I like to keep it on the high side of the RPMs. The other misconception is once in a while if you see the grain being carried out the back, what you'll do is you'll close down your chaffer. When you close the chaffer down, you're actually making a wind dam and you're not allowing the wind to go up through the chaffer and separate out the grain. So try to keep your chaffer more open to allow that wind to get up through it, separate out the grain from the chaff, and not carry it out the back of the machine. On the rear of the chaffer on the newer machines, they're called dual zone chaffer. It's actually solid doors on the back of the, of the chaffer. They're recommending them to be closed in corn. It's kind of backwards what you think you're going to want to do because you're actually, it appears like you're taking away your cleaning square, capac the capacity of the chaffer, but actually what it's doing is blocking the wind because the wind is going to take the path of least resistance. Blocking that off is going to force more wind to the front of the chaffer and it's going to let it separate out the grain from the chaff and actually increase the capacity of the machine. Now that Keith's walk you through the feeding components of the combine, the next thing we want to talk about is how do we evaluate the rest of the performance of the machine. The best way to do that is a power shutdown. I like to use the Go Harvest app on my phone. It's also available in the owner's manual. What you're looking for in a power shutdown is you want to make sure that 80 to 90 percent of the threshing is occurring up front in the concaves and all of the free grain is getting separated out in the separator cage. After that, take a look at the back of the machine to verify that the load across the cleaning shoe is evenly distributed and if all those things are good you're ready to harvest. So when you're evaluating combine performance in a power shutdown when you're back here at the cleaning shoe you would raise the chopper you can go underneath and what you're looking for is to look for even distribution material all across the width of the cleaning shoe. If you notice that one side has less material the simple adjustment is raising one of the auger bay dividers, or as Keith discussed, installing one of the blanks in the round bar concave. So now if you're at the back of the cleaning shoe and you've determined that the distribution of material is not even across the cleaning shoe, one of the easiest adjustments and one of the first things I always recommend is adjusting auger bay dividers. There's one on each side of the combine and adjusting it up will bring more material to the middle of the machine. All right, John talked about this earlier on to get even distribution across the cleaning shoe and the auger bed of the combine. When you get into your larger heads, 12 row heads especially, high yielding corn, what happens is it has a tendency to flood the right hand side of the, of the machine. Even though you slide the doors up, sometimes you need a little extra help. This filler plate here goes into the concave and this is going to help move some of the grain further over to the center and the left hand side of the auger bed of the machine. So the position of this grate is going to be in the second concave in the rear hole of it. That seems to work out the best and that's where it'll help divert the grain over to the center of the cleaning shoe.